The negative effects of climate change are beginning to take a toll on residents in Middle County as water levels in River Cathita drop. The residents are also decrying an increase in pollution, which is posing a health hazard. Our reporter Pauline Nasmiu examines the environmental concerns by Meru residents ahead of the start of the Africa Climate Summit set for next week. As thousands of delegates prepare to attend the Africa Climate Summit next week in Nairobi, residents of Meru County are awarded lot over the changing climatic conditions in the region. This is Katheta River, the only river relied on by residents in Meru municipality. As things stand, the water levels have dropped significantly, with some sections of the river drying up. Kwa sasa, kama unaviona, maji imeteremka sana, kiwango kubwa sana, imeza kupungua, hata kuku ya nyo inaweza pitia kwa hizo mawe. A situation residents claim is a result of the negative effects of climate change. Sijui ni hali ya anga ivele ya tashida, tuwelewe ni ni mbaya. Lakini saa hizu unapitilia kathita kwa mau kiruka ruka, unapita. Saa yadi kuku zenye zinavuka, mbuzi ndo hizi zinavuka. Gladys Moshe, Meru Hospice Institution Administrator, says cancer patients who often rely on nutritious food from farming are at a crossroad owing to failed rains. This affects the life of the patients because they get money from farming and therefore even if they are diagnosed with cancer, they are not able to cater for cancer treatment. Tumekua na shinda mingi sana. Uh, due to effect of climate change. First of all, tuko na scarcity ya maji. Maji yetu mito yetu imeanza kukauka. Uh, pia chakula imeanza kuenda chini. Uh, Irigite ndi angle culture uzo imeanza kuenda chini. So hizo zinda zote ambazo simekua around. Now we are intervening as a county government of Meru. Our governor excellence Kawira Mwangaza. Uh, Orinda as he shunde and directive that we should intervene and to make sure that uh, our people ask water, both for drinking and irrigation. First intervention in the uh, we have come up with three programs. One of the program is uh, based on uh, rainwater harvesting. But for now, uh, we are issuing tanks and also building dams. Uh, to start with, we have built three dams in Meru County. That is for the last uh, uh, one year. That is uh, from January up to, uh, up to August. We have grown three dams in three regions. Uh, one of the dams is one of the dam is in Ngado, that is in Yembe North, which is the biggest dam, having a capacity of uh, over 700 cubic meters. That is 700 million uh, liters of water. Mm, another dam is in within the Tigani region, that is a larger in Mudara Wand, which is also a, a large dam with a capacity of uh, 200 cubic meters. That is uh, 200 million liters. Another dam is in Vaisigilia, that is in Ement, uh, having a capacity of also 200 cubic meters, that is around uh, 200 million liters. On other front, in terms of uh, uh, the program, that is a rainwater harvesting program, we have also started issuing tanks, that is for uh, institutions and also the, uh, the individual homesteads for harvesting of the water. So far, we have issued over 3,000 uh, 3, tanks. Uh, in homestead and individuals, accumulating around, uh, to harvest around, uh, 20, uh, around 20 million, 20 million liters of water. Also, we have another program, uh, which is surface water program. This program is basically on abstracting water from the rivers. Koto rivers, and now we take them to the homesteads. Uh, we have issued the pipes to several groups, and that is over 220 groups across the county to make sure that water is distributed from the, from the rivers all the way to homesteads. Also, there's another program we are doing that is on groundwater. Uh, issues on groundwater, we want also to abstract water on the underground, that is a borehouse. So far, Excellence started a, a program of a, a drilling borehouse using our own rig. Uh, up to now, for the last uh, four months, we have drilled that uh, four borehouse. 
Uh, we want to intervene in all ways. We want to make sure that there's no wastages in terms of water. We want to make sure that all the resources that are within the Meru County in terms of water, we are able to intervene, we are able to, to use them. The once green gold, which is Mira, has turned brown as the crop is drying up. Mira, imekeuka. Tumefamba maindi na marawa, imekeuka. Residents say planting crops like maize or beans is a challenge due to lack of adequate rainfall, forcing them to depend on relief foods. The residents are hopeful that the upcoming summit will provide tangible solutions to reverse the negative effects of climate change. Pauline Nassimil, for Lunchtime News.